Welcome back to the Tech Bench. Today we have a Kenwood KR9600. This is the just the holy grail of Kenwoods in my opinion. It weighs a ton, but it was probably one of the best Kenwoods they ever produced. Again, in my opinion, uh, back in the day. The uh, issue with this, it came in with not being able to uh, pass any sound. It wasn't in protect. The outputs weren't blown, fortunately, because they're no longer available. Um, the uh, uh, there was just no sound getting to them. So I started tracing this out, and then it all started coming back to me from a million years ago. The uh, This unit uses a relay right here. It's a little reed relay that interrupts the sound uh, for just a brief moment when the power is turned on. And the whole point behind this, I think, is to prevent the pop when you first turn these things on. So if you go over here to the, they call this the A power supply, you go over here to pin, uh, let's see, what is pin? Um, 11, I think. Pin 11 here is uh, the power to turn on that relay. And so when you turn this thing on, you should have roughly about 10 volts on there. Well, I was getting zero. Traced through these transistors here and everything was good. I replaced the, the, the cap and replaced the transistors just because they were old. And, and um, the uh, ones that were not necessarily overly reliable. So I replaced that. It still didn't make any difference. And then I uh, started digging around in here and I realized that the voltage on pin 13 which is right there, was approximately 0.7 volts, and it should be 0 volts because it's supposed to be grounded. Over here on the power switch, you've got power on this side, and then you've got pin 13 there and then ground. So when the power is on, that pin should be grounded. And because uh, the, I think it's a brown wire here is ground, and then the, the, the white with a blue stripe is, uh, goes up to pin 13. So I measured it, and sure enough, I had 0.7 volts there. So the problem actually turned out to be in the power switch, but unlike normal, the power switch itself, the, the AC side, wasn't the problem. The, the AC side was turning on. Normally when these power switches go bad, the, um, they burn the contacts, and they just flat out don't turn on the AC, or they'll turn them on, and, and the lights will flicker, and it'll arc and spark inside. But in this case, it was the low current side, the low voltage side over here. So, of course, we can't get these switches anymore, so I took the switch apart like I've done a thousand times on these things. Um, cleaned the contacts, they weren't pitted, cleaned them up real good, deoxed them a little bit, put it all back together, and sure enough, lo and behold, it is now working. Time's out. And there you go. All because of a little bit of resistance in that power switch right there.